So I'm going to show you how to make um, a file that is in rule of thirds. This definitely will be for prints. So I'm going to do a uh, file new. I'm going to do an 8 half by 11 so that I can print it out of my printer if I want to. Make sure your resolution is 300 for print and color mode should be CMYK. Pixels per inch. Make sure the inches and the orientation is correct and hit create. Okay, here we go. I'm going to start with very simple work, so don't think this is really great design, but I'm just talking about layout in rule of thirds and how that will be uh, a good choice when creating a flyer or a poster. Uh, let's just start with uh, a shape. I'll put maybe a, a column here of color. I'll fill it in with my paint bucket. I already picked a color earlier. This dark blue is okay. So we'll be doing select. I'll bring in a photo. I've been using this photo a lot. You've been seeing it a lot. It's just sitting on my desktop. So I'm using it. So I'm going to take this boat, select it, control C for copy, back to my file, control V for paste. And maybe put it here. There's a whole section right there for rule thirds. Okay, now for my third section, maybe it would be like a logo or it would be text. Um, I, I really don't like this straight line right here. I think it's just too, too, too I don't know, too much like shapes. I just want to blend it to the white. So I'm going to take my paintbrush. I'm sorry, I meant to say I'm going to take my eraser tool. So I'm looking for that. Where are you, eraser? Oh, sorry, it's been here this whole time. Okay, now I like this size. That size is pretty good. I'm going to check that it's fuzzy eraser, soft fuzzy eraser is what I call it. I think that still might be a good size. I'm going to keep it like that, and I'll make sure I'm on the layer of the boat because that's what I want to blend. So I'm going to keep my circle up here. If I'm over here, I'm going to erase the boat. I don't want to erase the boat. I'm just going to erase the top of the sky slightly. I'm going to move it up a even a little higher. And I'm going to keep clicking until that's that line that division goes away in the natu naturally it'll still be rule of thirds it just won't be so perfect clear cut i don't need that i want it to look a little more natural into this section at the top you click in i can still see that line maybe a little bit more i think there's a little bit of delay and it's trying to catch up with me so if I'm clicking a whole lot and I don't see anything happen, if I could just stop clicking for a moment, give it a little time, you might see it pop in a little bit later. There we go. Do you see it happening now? I'm not even clicking anymore. It was just trying to catch up. I may have clicked, I may have raced a little too much of the boot top there, but just for this, I'm going to go ahead with it. So now, probably for my top section, it will be good if I had a logo. Maybe this is for a boat company logo, maybe a website over here. So I'm going to go to the text tool, start with that. I don't have a logo ready and prepared to put on here. Um, actually, I think I might. I'm going to look. I'm going to look into my desktop. Let's see. I think I have a pre-made logo sitting there and we can pretend that this is for the boat company. Where are you? No, do I not? Desktop. No, I guess I don't. I thought I did. I can actually quickly make one with shapes. Uh, what color should I make it? Maybe I'll, oh, that in the Pantone. I'm going to get out of the Pantone picker. Uh, probably maybe that color shape. We'll do that. And I we'll have a circle. So if the logo is right here, let's not circle up the rectangle. We can keep it as a rectangle logo for now. And add text with the logo. Right now, my text is trying to type in the same color as my box. If you look up here, so we definitely want to need to change that out. Let's make it darker. We need contrast. Always need contrast when you have two colors together. Move my rectangle over here. I think I can make that boat text. A little bit bigger. Oops, sorry. Let me just 
redo the boat text because it's in a text box and it's limiting me. So I'm going to click the new layer to get out of this rectangle for sure. Click on my text tool again. Let's give this one other try. Click once, type boat. Go to your selection tool. Now I'm not restricted to a text box. I can just drag it as big as I like, overlap it maybe, call that a logo. Not sure how much I want to overlap. Maybe just keep the B in there. So there's boat. I need to add one more company. I'm going to contrast that with black and so using some blue. So there's black. Move it here. I'm going to distort it a little without holding shift. I'm going to just squish it up a little bit. It's a logo. It's your design. Choose what you want. Just moving it up there. Okay, so there's my boat company logo. Got it now. I probably could write some services right here, write some information. Maybe it's a big sale. That's something I should write right here. I'm not going to sit here and type a lot of information, so that's something you can do. But let's try typing something on this blue area here. www.votecompany.com. I'm making this up. This doesn't exist. I need contrast. Let's turn that to white. And then I'm going to change it. I'm going to hover over this corner here so I can get that. Oops. I just distorted it a little. Okay, and I'm holding shift so I don't distort it. I hold shift. I can get it to also line up closer to good enough for the tutorial. I'm going to hold shift again. I'm dragging a corner so I can just make it big. Okay, enter. Here we go. So this is an example of three sections. The boat is considered one section. The left column is another section. And whatever I put in the top is a third section. Keep it to thirds. Rule thirds is a good thing to design with. Uh, also, good contrast. Notice I wrote this text in white. I wrote this text in blue so that the background is opposite of the word. So it pops out. Okay, so that is rule of thirds. Thank you.